Hey Scorpio, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Scorpio? What message do we have for Scorpio? What message do we have for Scorpio? And we have the heart, number 31, the heart. So you may have been feeling very um, closed off in the heart, putting a lot of protection around your heart, but I feel like there's something that you're going to want to really kind of let that wall down and be open and vulnerable in order to receive something beautiful in your heart. So let's see what the book has to say. The home, the center, the throne. It is possible from an imaginal point of view to sense the heart as a place. Either we are there within the realm of expansion and compassion, or we have drifted somewhere else. There is no in between. <coughs> Excuse me. It is common for us to leave this archetype archetypal center without realizing it as the world with its sedu seductive twists and turns offers us frequent departure. We may even become a stranger to the landscape of the heart, leaving it vacant for long stretches of time. The seat of the heart is often reclaimed by nature, music, dance, and the presence of children or animals. This card encourages us to move past the layers of life's tangles and knots and enter the wild and sacred center of the self. The most precious throne in the galaxy is awaiting your return. So when in light, it's expansive knowing and gentle clarity. And when in dark, it's fraught, tangled and betrayal. So it's really asking you to come back to your heart space and, you know, um, thrive from your heart space. What else do we have? Okay, and we have conclusions are within reach, the full moon eclipse. So I feel like um, there may be a reason that you have kind of abandoned this space for some time. And I feel like there may be um, maybe an apology coming to you or forgiveness coming to you. This could be a conversation, um, a, a energetic feeling. This could be anything that um, brings closure to whatever happened to kind of make you feel like vacating your heart space. Okay, we have, how does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. So it talked about, you know, music and dance filling your heart space. So, you know, you may have been in a place of creativity that fills your heart with joy and um, which is not a bad thing, but it's is are you connecting to that heart space through that? So you may be um, connecting to it. And so maybe, you you know, through dance, through exercise through whatever body movement this is but there's something that's really going to help you connect with this closure that you've needed all right what else do we have okay we have the ten of wands so yeah i feel like this there's a lot of these little branches and stuff here and there's these brambles here and there's these you know, woods here, there's a lot of like blockage I'm seeing. So I feel like there is a need for this closure, for letting go of things from the past, um, kind of letting go the, of the things that are kind of clogging up your energy that may be lowering your vibration. We have the Father of Wands. So this may have been, you may have been dealing with a fire sign or this could be you. This could be, you know, someone that was very controlling 
um, or dominating in some way. Um, doesn't have to be. This could be you. Like I said, it could have been a very passionate um, relationship. But I also feel like, you know, they're, you know, sometimes um, very passionate people are extreme in their emotion as well. <clears throat> What's the challenge here? And we have the Empress. So, yeah, I feel like there is some type of challenge with the feminine energy of, like, the nurturing energy, the like feeling like you can't grow. You can't grow when you have all these brambles like blocking you. Um, abundance and feeling supported and nurtured. There's just this controlling element here. So that may be what kind of closed you off from your heart space. What is the advice from spirit here? And we have the three of wands. So this is about like putting in the energy to change your future to what you truly desire and what you truly deserve. So I feel like that's where your focus has been, but it's also looks like this is blocked off to a certain thing. And I feel like you have to open your heart to actually receive this. What's the outcome here? And we have the Seven of Wands. So I do see you standing up for yourself. I do see, um, you know, really standing out too. I feel like things may come up against you, but this is you standing out from the crowd, standing up for yourself. Um, things coming against you and you still having the higher ground here. Wow, the bottom of the deck, the strength card. So there's no need to fear. You are strong enough. This is um, reassuring you. You have this nine of cups underneath that, that there you're strong enough and you deserve to have your wishes come true. That's what I'm getting here. All right, let's clarify. Show me this 10 of wands. And we have the Five of Cups. Yes, there's a lot of regrets. There may be guilt. There may be sadness of, you know, pain of things that you went through in the past. And there's a need to let that go because you have so much um, joy to be had. So much love to still create and to be experienced in your future and in the present. Show me this Father of Wands. And we have the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like this is giving yourself that credit for cutting that out and really putting yourself first and going forward with your future. Really, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of people that haven't been in situations like this where they've been in a controlling environment, maybe even abusive environment, don't understand how the strength that it takes to get away from something like that. Show me the Empress. And we have the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like um, this is like what you have to clear out in order to get to the Empress within you. This is what you have to clear out so that you can grow, so that you can um, heal those wounds that you still have left within. Show me this Three of Wands. And we have the tower. So, yeah, it, it was a devastating event that happened. But this is like also it all everything happened for a reason. This was divine intervention that helped you and your angels are with you. And now it's time for this beautiful new future. Show me the seven of wands. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So you are rebuilding now, especially Three of Pentacles after the Tower is definitely about rebuilding something stronger on a solid foundation that is more about co-creating with spirit and um, something that, you can, that will withstand the test of time. The bottom of the deck is the five of swords so i get it there's there's times where you question your strength you question whether you are 
worthy, whether you are good enough, whether you're strong enough. And you probably will for um, a while, but this is, um, with every victory, it's only going to instill more and more confidence in in the strength you have and, and everything that you've overcome over the years. So you have, you have three, three, three here. You definitely have this brand new beginning and it's definitely, um, it's definitely of the angels here. That's what I'm seeing. All right, let's see if there's any other messages here. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Third party interference that could have been um, something that you've had to deal with in the past. It doesn't have to be even cheating, you know, just um, energies that were interfering with um, a relationship of any kind, could have even been family. Stuck, I know you felt stuck. And, you know, that feeling maybe is still not gone away um, because the wounds are still there and they're still needing to heal. Codependent, I totally understand this codependency is, um, I mean, it's to a point where you, you don't understand how to operate without... A person even if it's to your own detriment I get it but I feel like you're getting out or you've gotten out and if not then I do see this divine intervention happening prepare chaser so you may have to deal with that but just know that as long as you keep um, as you understand the strength that's imbued to you by the divine you do not have to go back autumn so autumn may be significant to you self-love this is crucial self-love and understanding of how strong you really are Whew, i feel this separation yeah, it's like getting away from it is going to be the key because that's when you truly understand how strong you really are. You can't understand that when you are engulfed in their vibration. You cannot understand it. And dazed and confused. It's going to feel that way at first. It's definitely going to feel that way. You, it's a, it's a dependency that's like a drug. You have to come off of it when you first pull away. But once you're away, you will be um, a brand new person. Divine feminine, this is what you will find that within you. You will find that within you. You have it. You've just been living out the toxic part. Wow, this is beautiful. I'm pulling for you. I'm praying for you. Um, I don't know who this message is for, but there's definitely energy coming your way to really help you be victorious in this situation you have the strength you can do it all right those are the messages that came through for you thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please 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 subscribe and remember the universe has your back and so do i take care